Shalom. I want to talk about some uh, about the false prophets. I'm going to read in Jeremiah 23 and I read it before in my other videos and I didn't want to finish that, uh, the verses down there and they're misleading our people and I'm going to the 16th verse and it says thus saith Yahuwah of hosts hearken not unto the words of the prophets that prophecies unto you uh, they make you vain but they speak a vision their own heart and not out of the mouth of Yahuwah and they said on they say still unto them that despise me uh, Yah have said ye shall have a peace and they say unto everyone that walketh after the image of his own heart no evil shall come upon him for who he had stood in the cup council of Yahuwah and have proceeded in his word, uh, he heard of his word, who have marked his word and heard it. Um, and behold, a whirlwind of Yahuwah is going forth in fury, even a grievous whirlwind. It shall fall grievous upon the head of the wicked. The anger of Yahuwah shall not return unto he that executed and still have performed the thoughts of his heart. In the latter days ye shall consider it perfectly. I have not sent these prophets yet and they ran. I have not spoken to them yet. They have prophesied. I'll read this real quick. Hold on. It says. Okay. They said they prophesied. Hold on. Thought I lost my place they prophesied but if they have stood in my counsel they shall have caused my people to hear my words then they shall have turned them from their evil way and from their evil of their doings that's what they're doing you got a lot of these guys uh, complaining about Mike Epps mocking them but you know they're false prophets you know they're deceiving people hurting people you know cursing out our own people you know they're not prophets of the Lord like I said in them scriptures I just read in, in, in the, the 16 verses down to the 22nd verse. But I'm going to jump down to the 26th verse to confound it. It says, How long shall this be in the heart of the prophets that prophesy lies? Yea, they are the prophets of the seat of their own heart. And this is coming from the nation of Israel. This is not coming from those churches. Those churches are false anyway because they are all forms of idolatry. Those are the other nations. But in our people, we're in idolatry, but we also want to be false prophets of Baal, the good spell, the gospel, known as the Christ of their God, their idol, really their idols. So it's not a part of this so-called Old Testament known as the Book of Remembrance. But if you read, um, I was going to read Jeremiah 32 verses the 36 verse. Um, and it was talking about man die of his own sin and then you know he'll come back and do this that's from the elder um, I don't get this from uh, time constraints but uh, but every man died his own sin he dies for his own sin you can read that that's in the law Deuteronomy uh, 24 16 and like I said newly raised up new idols new gods that we was going to worship you cut off that was the prophecy of Deuteronomy 28 64 and it's been fulfilled as to, as we speak and people are still in caught up forms of idolatry and here's what they're not doing I'm going to go to Deuteronomy uh, chapter 30 verses 1 through 5 and it shall come to pass when I call these things are uh, come upon thee the blessing and the curse which I have set before thee Thou shalt call them to mind among all the nations, whether Yahuwah thy Elohim have driven thee, you can say power, and shall return unto Yahuwah thy Elohim, and shall, and shall obey his voice according to all that I have commanded thee. This day thou and thou children, thy children, with all the heart and with all thy soul, and then Yahuwah thy power, or thy Elohim, will turn thy captivity and have compassion upon thee and will return and gather 
thee from all the nations whither there Yahuwah thy Elohim have scattered thee. If any thine to be the driven out unto the outmost parts of the heaven, and from thence will Yahuwah thy Elohim gather thee, and from thence will he fetch thee. And it says, And Yahuwah thy Elohim or thy power will bring thee into the land which the uh, thy fathers possess, and thou shalt possess it. And he will do thee good and to multiply thee above thy fathers. And that's what you should remember. Remember this, this chapter in Deuteronomy 30. Talking about the promise and the great mercies for Israel. So if you read 1 Kings. Uh, I'm going to get this the 46th verse to the 53rd verse. Uh, Y'all missing this. Uh, Yasharal, Y'all missing this. You missing this for your own good. The word is fire, and and turn, and he will deliver you. And I'm gonna read right here. It says, "If they sin against thee," and this is for the Western hymn for the for the three tribes, the sinners of the three tribes, Yahuda, Benjamin, and the whites. This is for you right here. It says, "If they have sinned against thee, for there is no man that sinneth not, and thou be angry with them, and deliver them to the enemy, and so that they carry them away captives." Unto the land of the enemy far or near. Yet if they have shall bethink themselves in the land of whither they were carried captives and repent and make supplication unto thee in the land of them that carried them captives, saying, We have sinned and have done perversely, have done for perversely, we have committed wickedness. And we did. We were some wicked people, we didn't keep the covenant, we didn't keep the laws, we didn't do none of that. So and it says, and in the 48 verse, let's read it. It says, and so return unto thee with all their heart, with all their soul, in the land of their enemies, which led them away captive, and pray unto thee toward their land, in which thou gavest unto their fathers, the city which thou hast chosen, and the house which I have built for thy name. And then hear thou their prayer and their supplications in the heaven, thy dwelling place. And to maintain their cause. That's what we're supposed to do. And remember. And maintain your cause. But always turn and think. And we come in, we're calling him into mind. You have many people calling the name of Yod now. Because he's pouring his spirit out. You read in uh, Malachi 3 and 17. Like I said. He's going to make up uh, make up his jewels. That spare of a man. That spare his own son. That serve him. Okay. And let's go. In 49 verse it says, They hear thou their prayer and their supplication in thy heaven dwelling place and maintain their cause. And it says, Forgive thy people that have sinned against thee and, and all their transgressions, whether they have transgressed against thee, and give them compassion before them, who carry them captive, that they may have compassion on them. For they be thy people, thy inheritance, which thou broughtest them out of bondage, known as Egypt, from the midst of the furnace of iron, and that thine eyes may have been opened unto the supplication of thy servant, and unto the supplication of thy people of Yasharal, known as Israel, or Yisrael, or you want to say, but to hearken unto them, and all they have come for thee unto thee, for thou didst separatest for them from among all the people of the earth to be the inheritance, thy inheritance, as they speak it. In the hands of Moses, known as Moshe, Moshe, commonly called Moses, thy servant, when thy broughtest out our fathers out of Egypt, O Yahuwah, thy God, or thy Elohim, or power. And that's what it says. But you can go in Hosea, you know, I'm going to Leviticus, and here's what it says in Leviticus what we're supposed to do. Uh, and if you read the 40th verse to the 45th verse in the it says, If they confess their iniquity of their fathers with a trespass which they have transpassed against me, and they have also have walked contrary unto me, and that I have also walked <coughs> contrary unto them, and have brought them in the land of their enemies, if their uncircumcised hearts, <coughs> excuse me, uncircumcised their hearts, be humbled, and they then accept of their punishment of their iniquity, and then I will remember my covenant with Yaakov, 
call me called Jacob, and also my covenant with Isaac, and also my covenant with Abraham will I remember, and I will remember the land. The land also shall be left of them that and shall enjoy her Sabbath while she lieth desolate with them, and they shall accept the punishment of their iniquity because even because even because they despise my judgments and because their soul abhorred my statutes and yet for all that when they have been in the land of their enemies I will not cast them away neither I will abhor them to destroy them utterly and to break my covenant with them for I am Yahuwah their God or their power the strong one there's there's no man beside him there, there, and, and without else there's no savior he who creates your hef wah hef means Yahuwah and it means he to be exists and it means Yah was Yah he to be exists the omnipotent one the holy one of Yashara known as Israel and it says, but I will, but I will for their sakes remember of uh, the covenant of their ancestors, whom I brought forth out of the land of Egypt in the sight of the heathen, that I might be their Elohim or their power. I am Yahuwah. Again. So we're supposed to remember. But you can go in Hosea. It's what you're supposed to do in Hosea. Uh, another prophet telling you. And this is what Israel is supposed to do. All this stuff is in the book of remembrance. So called Old Testament. And. And it says in the 15th verse. I will go and return to my place. Till they acknowledge their offense. And seek my face. In their affliction, they will seek me early. Come and let us return unto Yahuwah, for he hath turned, and he will heal us. And he hath smitten, and he will bind us up. After the two days will I revive us, and the third day he will raise us up. And we shall live in his sight. And then shall we know if we follow to know Yahuwah, his going forth is prepared as the morning, and he shall come unto us as the rain as the latter and former rain onto the earth and that's what we're supposed to do we have to understand that you know the creator is going to do good for us if we do and keep his commandments and understand the laws in the land and then then we we're going to do the laws in the land anyway because we can't do the laws of the land we can do some of them but we can't do all of them because uh esau the sins of esau changed the ordinances around and um Remember, where's the prophecy of Christ? It says, Surely Yahuwah, uh, thy power, says, He does nothing to reveal His secrets, His servants, the prophets. His servants, the prophets. Amos 3 and 7. I just say that, but always remember, this is a treasure map. It says, Don't put your faith in a friend. And don't trust no in and nor in a guy, because you got a lot of people trusting the apocrypha and the good spell, the New Testament, because it's new. It's something new. And Deuteronomy 32 and 17 confirms this. It was prophesied that we was going to be in worshiping idols and images, all forms of idolatry, and we should remember of the law of the book of remembrance, like there is before him. Malachi 3 and 16. It tells you that. So, you know, I just want to drop these scriptures on you. And every man dies for his own sins. And that's in, uh, you can get precepts from 2 Chronicles 25 and 4, but also Deuteronomy 24 and 16. So with that, you know, I just want to say, 